My name's Steve Ward. I hail from Nottingham originally. Now they've took me under the wing at Mansfield. I'm 60 years old. I'm the Guinness World Records oldest active professional boxer in the world. Tonight, I'm fighting for the WBC Veteran Heavyweight Championship of the World. The first fight ever I fought for the Nottingham School of Boxing. That was Nottingham Hartley Road. And uh, the first fight I remember it well, I fought a guy called Paul Ironmonger. He was a big skin and he looked 20 foot high to me on the side of the ring. And uh, that was at Daybrook Working Men's Club, Arnold, Nottingham. I come to being bigger if it had been in Vegas, it meant the world. And this one, this one ranks with that. The first fight and the last fight are the main fights. Is it really the end? Yes, without a doubt. I can, I can tell you that without a doubt. At 60 years old? You know, I knew you'd have to mention my age. I'd have sworn on that. <laughs> yeah, 60 years old, it's a lot harder. Physically, it kicks your body to pieces. That's why this is the real last one. What I've put my body through for this time, I can't do again. It's a 12, three minute round fight. It's not, it's nothing minor, it's a big one. I just hope that uh, the body's up to it. I know when my body tells me it's enough, it is enough. And it's given me all the signs. Steve, what are you doing to me? <laughs> she don't normally get nervous, but she admitted to me the other day, she says, I'm very nervous on this fight. It's a proud moment, and anyone who knows Steve knows he's going to give it his, his whole heart and do everyone proud. I'm very proud of him, very, very proud of him. I support him all the way. Um, when he first came back in 2011, and he said to me he wanted to get into the ring, I've just been there and I've been his support all the way through. It's his goal, and I'm never going to stop him doing that. People all say to me, you know, aren't you frightened of him, you know, getting hurt, dying in the ring? But if he did, he'd die happy, because that's what he's born to do, and that's what he's always wanted to do. Introducing your contenders. In the red corner, from Germany, the Gladiator and the This guy, I wouldn't say he's got long arms for a long reach, he's got a wingspan. It's that, that immense. It can hit me probably eight inches away from my jaw, he could hit me. So I'm going to try and dance around him. I've got a gigantic ring out there. That ring's 24 foot stadium ring. I didn't realise just how big it was till I seen it today. God, I'll need glasses to see him in the other corner. He is a pundit coming out of the new corner. The oldest professional boxer in the world. chance, yeah. Big fit lad, isn't he? I think he can do it, yeah. Walk in the park for Steve Ward. I think Steve will knock him out, 100%. I think he'll knock him out. It just depends, but knowing Steve, I don't know. It could go one way or the other, so I don't know. Come on, Steve. 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 You can do Come it. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Hey. Come on, Steve. He's, uh, he's always been very supportive of everything that I've done in my career, so it's, it's time to... Yeah, repay him for, for that and I'm, I'm here to support him. The long, longevity that he's had is just incredible and you know, it's inspiring for any athlete and you know, something that hopefully I'll have in my career and yeah, it's just incredible that he's still at the top of his game and you know, performing at the, the highest level. Well, I thought they were beggars at first because he had caps. <laughs> no, it, it was a great feeling, a real good feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the German national anthem. Ring in another world. We are. Uh, I met him. And, uh, we are very quick, uh, close like friends. And um, uh, we will be after the fight, friends. 
but in the fight is a war. Sorry, so the, the, the fight in the ring uh, for every boxer is, uh, is, is a war and uh, we have to give everything not to lose. Normally I'm the, I'm the long distance fighter. I need, uh, because I, very, uh, I train very disciplined, uh, running every day and uh, uh, I, I also I fought many times 12 rounds um, and I go over the time. I not will really, I not really hit him quick, and because I think maybe he will lose his power after six seven rounds, and then I start come more. But uh, we will see. You need every fight, every fight is a different thing. We will see. Wow! I think Mansfield can be proud to have this guy, this man. Uh, he have he must have a good heart. I respect him very for that. But no mercy. Please remain standing for the British national anthem. To know that Mansfield, the town you're representing, Nottinghamshire, city you're representing, it's nice to know they all behind you. It's a great feeling. Motivation, heart. The heart and will to want to do it. The heart and will to want to be different to everybody else. The heart and will to win for England. That means everything, to win for England. Sorry, I couldn't just do it. I didn't just come up to the mark. I did try. I couldn't have trained any harder. The best man won on the night. Praise to Andreas. God be with him. Now I will tell the truth. Right? I've got a rotator cuff injury, a serious one. I go in, I've already had the pre op, and I go in hospital on the 15th of August to be cut open from here down over the shoulder, past the bicep the elbow. No excuses and I do not use that as an excuse, make no mistake of that. I knew what the score was, I still took the five because I wanted to please Mansfield, Nottinghamshire and I really wanted to win this for England. When they did land that one though, that was a good one. Really good fighter and, if I, and I hit him good but he, he, he he becomes strong and he hit me three times. I, I, I slip away with my legs and uh, I not show it, but uh, oh, after six rounds I try and I'm happy the uh, seven round fight was over. Short after the fight I cried. Oh, I don't know why, I never, I never know. I really, it was my real feeling. Mansfield and England can be proud of this guy. 60 years, he's six years older than me. I'm 54, I, I know. I'm in shape with 50, but now I'm 54, I become tired, but he's 60. Oh my God, I feel great. I, I like this title, it's very heavy. It's, it's a very nice belt. Uh, I'm proud from WBC, veteran title. 
but also I feel sad because I beat uh, uh, a man. Uh, I, I become sin, uh, one week ago a uh, friend, and we are now friend for life. I've lost to the number one in the world, the world champion. To be a number two, I can live with that. But if you ask the full crowd tonight, how did Steve Ward go? I think it speaks for itself. A true boxer now is not one what you give yourself, how so many of them do. It's one what you acquire by the people watching. That's what it is. And when they start shouting, legend, 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 that's not a bad name. I love that. It's going to be hard to leave the ring behind, and you're right, you don't get that same adrenaline rush. When I came out tonight, that place was electric and it went up, woof. You'll never get that same feeling. It doesn't matter what you do, you'll never get that same feeling. I think Mansfield was standing on its head for me. The Nottingham people here, the Mansfield people, to see the last fight Steve Ward ever has. But thank you for being behind me. And now, uh, I think it's time for a little kissing cuddle with a wife for all what she's been doing for me. And also maybe time for an holiday. <laughs>